Ladies and gentlemen, Madam Rajavi, thank you for inviting me to your confidence. It's an honour to be amongst such distinguished company on International Women's Day. As we gather to celebrate women's social, economic, cultural and political achievements and increasing visibility in these areas, we must not forget that sadly, there are so many parts of the world where women struggle to achieve their most fundamental rights, let alone equality. The great country of Iran is sadly at the forefront of that inequality. I work in the charitable sector in Wales, empowering women and children. The very opposite to that is happening in Iran today. But on this special day, we remind the women of Iran that their struggle is not theirs alone, but the collective efforts of all of us who care about human rights. The panel today with men and women representing divergent political views, different parties and none, different nationalities, backgrounds and professions is a reflection of this collective action to promote equality and human rights. Any system of government which promotes misogyny and repression is doomed to fail. This is a historical fact. It is also evident, as we've been heard, hearing today, that all too often women and some young juvenile women are prime victims of the regime, and yet they are in the forefront of the calls for change. The leadership of Mariam Rajavi represents progressive hope for the women of Iran. I am certain that the day will come when the women of, of Iran are free, enjoying the same rights as men and are able to represent and lead their country. The UK should support these brave Iranian women so that that day will come sooner rather than later. So we must challenge the regime on women's rights, call out inequality, and resolutely support the Iranian women's struggle for equality and a free and democratic Iran. Thank you.